Hi, I'm Nigel, and if you've watched any of my existing videos, you'll know that I'm interested in electric cars, and especially their efficiency. Um, I got really annoyed last night. I was looking into several um, reviews of Volkswagen Golfs, and uh, I, I read three separate ones. Um, two of them were videos, one was just textual, and every single one of them was saying that... Uh, the Golf doesn't have the range of the Nissan Leaf because the Nissan Leaf has the 40 kilowatt battery versus the Golf's 36. And uh, I was just getting really, really annoyed with this because it was just so obviously wrong. And then uh, when I did some calculations to prove to myself that uh, these reviews were wrong and misleading, I was absolutely shocked. The Golf has a better range than the Nissan Leaf. And that's what I'd like to prove to you. So... What do I really mean by this? Well, it's quite simple really, isn't it? The fuel tank size of a normal petrol car um, doesn't really dictate range on its own. It's the combination of miles per gallon and also the fuel tank size. And it's the same with electric cars. The battery size doesn't dictate the range. It's the combination of how efficient it is, how many miles it will do per kilowatt, as well as the number of kilowatts in the battery. So the Nissan Leaf, for example, only has 40 kilowatts battery size but that um, has 38 usable kilowatts. The Golf, I'm not quite sure why this is, but seems to have a lesser proportionate usable battery. So it starts with a 36 kilowatt battery, but it only has 32 kilowatts usable, which is a bigger proportion being lost. Maybe there's more in reserve. Maybe uh, there's a particular reason for that that I'd like to look into. But anyway, the difference between 36 and 40 is only 10%. So that's 10% difference um, in fuel tank size. Well, if the miles per gallon is, well, the miles per gallon equivalent is more than 10% difference, then the range will be better on the Golf. And that is the case. And that's what I want to show you here in these numbers. So I'll just go across to a calculator and you can actually see the numbers working. So, if we start back at this uh, data here, which uh, I obtained from the UK government website, this shows the efficiency of the cars. And I'm going to do three calculations and show you the results of the three, because I found it quite stunning. The Hyundai Ioniq, which has an energy consumption of 5.4 miles per kilowatt. The Volkswagen e-Golf, which has the consumption of 4.9 miles per kilowatt which you can see uh, one, two, three, four, five rows down in this list. And then further down, you can see the Nissan Leaf, albeit the older model, but please bear with me, it is appropriate, of only 4.1 miles per kilowatt. So if we now go to a calculator and use those numbers, we'll calculate the Nissan Leaf first. So it's not 40 kilowatts for the battery size, it's 38, because only 38 are usable, times the rating of 4.1 miles per kilowatt, that will give you the range. The range that's reasonable for the car is 155.8 miles. Now that number seems really familiar, doesn't it? 155. A lot of people are quoting that number. The NEDC rating of 235 is way, way out. 155 is appropriate. So that's what makes me think that the efficiency of 4.1 miles per kilowatt is appropriate also for the Leaf 2 as well as the original Leaf. So we now look at the VW, the e-Golf. That only has a 32 kilowatt battery that's usable. It's got 36 kilowatt battery, but only 32 is usable. But if we multiply that by 4.9, which is the miles that it can do per kilowatt, lo and behold, it gives you a higher range. And yet every review is telling us that the Leaf has a better range because it has a bigger battery. Finally, let's do the Hyundai Ioniq. So it only has a 28 usable kilowatt battery multiplied by 5.4. But unbelievably, it's almost the same as the Leaf and the Golf. So it's an older car. It's released much earlier than the new Leaf and the uh, revised e-Golf. But it still shows 151 for a smaller battery. So there you have it. The e-Golf has a bigger and better range than the Nissan Leaf 2018 revised model. Uh, against many, many reviews, if not all reviews, um, that I've seen so far, um, they're telling a misleading story saying that the Leaf um, has a better range, where I believe in actual fact it does not. So 
can't wait to find out, can't wait to actually test drive these cars and see if I can prove one way or another which is best from that perspective and then hopefully make my decision. I hope you found this useful, um, I hope you liked it and uh, want to see some more. So if you do, please like, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.